Hello, welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. My name is Sibylla and today I'll guide you through closing off the year 2020. And I can already hear you say, thank goodness, good riddance, let's just let go of it. And honestly, a lot of people tell me, why even do a yearly review? Why talk about achievements? This is this was a horrible year. Like everybody, that we're still alive is an achievement. I'm actually going to address this in task number one. And what I'm going to say is, yes, it was a very weird year. And this is out of all of these reviews that I've done every year. This is the definitely the weirdest. I still think, though, that especially because it was such a challenging year, it's very important to kind of close it off and to I want I almost want to say gain closure because we really it's very important that we come to terms with it in order to set to, to not trip ourselves up in the future, but to set ourselves up for a, a beautiful and successful next year and future. So this is going to happen in two parts, as it usually does. Today is going to be closing off 2020. And the next video in two weeks time in the early, early January is going to be how to set yourself up for 2021. So if you're still with me, your mission today is to close off the year 2020 for yourself. Task number one is called define success. I see a lot on social media these days. Don't ask me for my achievements in 2020. I st I'm, I'm still alive. I dealt with a lockdown. I dealt with everything. That is an achievement in, its, in, in itself. My point is exactly. Of course, that is an achievement. We, we need to redefine success and achievement as only in monetary terms or in, in, um, in work promotion or, or whatever else. We, uh, you know, the material world. Achievement is still being alive now. Achievement is coping with an entire world where that has been ravaged by a deadly virus. Millions of lives lost. A lot of us have personally lost people or have seen people or gone th ourselves through a, um, through a deadly, potentially deadly illness. And even if it was mild, many still cope with the consequences. And there was so much worry about our loved ones, our elderly loved ones. And there was so much going on. Yes, this is an achievement. Even if you haven't accomplished much in the real world, this is the real world too. Your feelings, your mental health, struggling with these things. And if you're basically, if you're still here to watch this video, you have achieved, you have had a success. And I want you to keep this in mind when in the next task, I'm going to ask you to write down things that went well, because this is something that you did. You didn't ask for it, but you did, and you did it well, because you're still there. You're still sane. You can still process things. You might be battered and bruised. You might be ill physically or mentally, but you're still here and you're coping and you're struggling. And you, this is one hell of an achievement. So if you can agree on that, I'll go to task number two, which is the actual yearly review. I do this every year and I'm going to just guide, quickly guide you through this now. And you're not going to do it during the video because this takes some more time, but maybe write it down, take some notes. And then today or tomorrow or in the next couple of days, take some time, maybe half an hour, get really comfortable, light a candle, put on some nice music and get something to write. And then you write down, first of all, what went well in 2020? Now, your reflex might be it was a horrible year, nothing went well. But think about it on a personal level. And I mean, there, there will likely have been times when you were happy or when something good happened. For me personally, the first two months of 2020 were actually amazing. I turned 50 in February and I celebrated in Vienna with lots of friends and it was fantastic. It was the most beautiful four days in my favorite city in the world. I also managed in these two months, in these two first months to see and hear some of my favorite uh, musicians because I'm, I love music, it's one of my passions, before everything closed down. And I'm profoundly grateful that I got the chance to do that whatever it is for you, write it down and acknowledge yourself for the things that went well. And remember task number one, if you just survived, I personally got maybe 20% done of what I meant to get done in 2020. And I count this as a success because I'm also highly sensitive and I processed so much of the worldwide fear and anxiety and everything. And that is that is a lot to process. So I'm actually very proud of myself that I did this. I worked a lot more slowly. I couldn't concentrate. So a task that would have taken me three or four hours to concentrate on took me 10 or 15 hours 
So I got a lot less done and I am actually proud of it because I got through this, I coped with it, I adjusted and I'm still here. That is my achievement. So write down what went well. Secondly, you write down what didn't go well. And this is of course the big one in 2020. You have all these things on a global scale. You have these challenges on a personal scale. So many people have financial trouble, health problems, people that they love that got sick. Some have even lost people. And so write everything down that wasn't, that didn't go well. That you would like to really leave behind in this year. Take some time with that too. Experience all the feelings, the sadness, the anger, the mourning. Take yourself seriously enough to go into these feelings and wallow in them even a little bit. You will feel when you're done. And when you're done, when that time has come, you take this piece of paper and you get rid of it. The best thing is to burn it. Please be safe. If you have a fireplace, burn it in the fireplace. The sink is usually a good uh, place to, to burn a piece of paper or outside. Don't set your house on fire, please. Be safe, but burning is nice. Otherwise you could rip it up and take a walk to a river and just throw it into a river. If you take normal paper, especially if it's recycled paper, uh, that is not pollution because it's going to dissolve in the water. So rip it up into tiny pieces and let go of it and feel it, see it floating away or see it going up in smoke. Those are the first two parts. The third part will be about 2021. Like I said, this will come in the next video in two weeks time. So for today, all that remains is task number three, which is let me know. Hit the reply button on the email that you got the link to this video with and tell me how you're faring with this, with this um, yearly review. Do you not want to do it at all? Or was it maybe a fairly good year for you because that exists too and don't feel ashamed or don't feel bad about yourself because you had some external success? More power to you, that's great. I said the things that I said so you won't feel bad if you didn't, right? So whatever it was, let me know. I'll answer every email, I promise. And if you didn't get the link to this video in an email, that means you're not part of the Wild Spirits community yet and you should join us. Go to wildspiritscoaching.com and fill in that little form there. You'll get one email per week. It's 100% spam free. You'll get lots of additional articles and information. You get recommendations of books and other resources. And sometimes you get exclusive offers that are only for my subscribers that nobody else ever gets to see. So go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up. Or you can Google Wild Spirits Coaching. That'll get you to my website as well. Thank you for watching.